I have good news and bad news. The good news is I'm almost done with my rehab program, which means I'm back on the mound facing hitters for the first time since my injury, and you're gonna get to watch that. The bad news is, well, I'll get to that in a second. First, I have a question. Are these not the weirdest cleats you've ever seen? These are pretty cool. What makes them special is, uh, look, this, uh, can you see? They have like a split in the toe. Only maker in the world, I guess it has the technology patented to, to do this. Bauer, we have some samurai swords. This, the brand is Volton. I have a bullpen. So I'm gonna wear these at least for practice. I'm gonna take my other cleats out with me and see, cause I don't know if my feet are gonna like these or not, but we'll test that out. Yeah. They actually sent me uh, some socks here that have like holes for all five of your toes. However, today is an exciting day because it's my last day of not being able to throw a bullpen. And if I can ditch my supervisors here so they don't have to hold me back any longer. Maybe not supervisors, maybe handlers. I've not gotten a haircut in Japan, partially because I don't know where to go to get my haircut. My preference of style is a two guard, just cut it all off. People tell me that I look better with longer hair. I'm trying to get matches on Tinder, okay, Koki? Oh boy. You'll see how bad my catch was next week on the vlog. That didn't happen, cut. I'm sure Paul will make fun of it a lot in the edit. What the hell? Ah! What is going on? Oh, pick it. Here we go. Oh no, I'm sorry, Koki. This is my public apology to you, Koki, on the vlog. Oh no, I'm sorry for making you run extra. Oh no, just grab one here. You've had one this whole time? Koki's arm is uh, better as he gets a little bit further distance. You still wanna like elevate way up here, but when you have to throw a little bit further, your elbow drops a little bit to the shoulder height and then you get a better spin, you know, more, more back spin, less cut spin. You gotta get your effort level to be like starting here and then rotating lightly instead of like just throwing with the arm. It always has to be connected to the body. That looks like someone who can throw a bullpen tomorrow, doesn't it? Cleared for bullpen. Did you see that display of athleticism? We don't need a doctor. Did you see how athletic I look? So I have successfully convinced my handlers to let me throw off the mound today. I told them I'd take it easy. Cook, your stride is too long. <laughs> how do playoff rosters work? <laughs> is it the same as the regular season where you have like a 31 player roster? <laughs> So same as a regular season, 31 players, so all the starting pitchers don't go to the playoff games. That's so lame. Ooh, that felt good. Well, it's all coming back quite quickly. Everything felt good today, mechanics-wise. Hip was going first, getting through the ball. All my pitches were sharp. Now we get to get on the mound. Almost forgot what the dirt felt like. If only I could throw it that slow in the game. I didn't obviously like ramp it up very much at all until the last couple. <laughs> that was one of the worst pitches I've ever thrown. Nice first uh, light bullpen. Yep. Okay, now we'll try the splitter. Pitches were good, shapes were good. I like where that pitch is at right now. That was a good one. Yeah, no issues. Next up on the list today, I am back at Yokohama Stadium to accept a monthly MVP of the award. I won MVP of the month uh, for August. Kind of weird, because I'm not like playing right now. I haven't even really been with the team since the end of August. If it's anything like it was last time, I'm basically just gonna like run out there, stand on the stage and like get a bunch of gifts and envelopes, shake some people's hands and so I don't know if there's gonna be a whole lot going on, but uh... What is this for? This poster? Oh, I'm gonna play Station Finals, our sponsor company is Electronic Store in Nishima. Ah, it's basically life size. I mean, it's like kind of the same, not quite life size, he's a little shorter than I am. I have to sign him? Right on the face. Do I put like DNA or anything? Just, just, just a signature. Yeah. Appreciate it with the top. Congrats. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm gonna put these on. See how they feel throwing. This will be an interesting experience. First impression: the cleats are very light. It does feel a little bit weird having something in between my big toe and the rest of my toes. In a straight line, I kind of got used to that. There's no real sensation. However, on the lateral stuff, I do feel my big toe pressing against the wall. So that feels a little bit weird. You know, as I warm up more, I don't know if I like that. It's uncomfortable relative to what I'm used to, but I don't know if that's the design of the shoe, if that's what's supposed to happen. A couple of throws are on the wall. First one, they did out of a stretch position. Ooh, yeah. 
I felt my toes kind of like rattle around quite a bit and there's actually some different stresses on the toe that I'm used to. Probably because the shoe isn't taking that stress, it's getting transferred into my toe. I'm gonna throw some here on the turf, warm up for the pen, uh, see how I feel. I wanna give it a, a fair shot. I wanna give it a full shot and see how it feels through uh, the whole process of warming up and throwing some off the mound. So uh, one of the things I did notice though is that the sole is thin enough that when I do go to like pivot off of my big toe, there's a cleat right underneath the ball of that foot. And that's not gonna be very comfortable over the course of 150, 200 throws off the mound on a, on a start day. Uh, that's a little bit concerning. Maybe my foot will adapt to it though, as the session goes along. After playing catch in them, a little bit uncomfortable for me to throw, especially as I get up to higher velocities and higher loads on those parts of my feet. See how little there is between the cleat and then the sole of the shoe here versus this plate, which you can see there's a lot of padding in this white part. So you feel the backsides of these cleats, like very light cleat compared to this. Like you can feel the difference. It's interesting. I mean, theoretically it should provide some performance benefits because it allows you to activate the bottom of your foot more. Um, but in practice, I'm not sure if it does that. And I'd have to throw in a little bit more to get the sense for that. But the product itself is very nice. Uh, it's all handmade, well worth testing out. Just not for me for today. Given that uh, I'm still rehabbing and wanna make sure that I'm not adding anything new to my routine that might delay that, uh, I'm gonna switch cleats today for the bullpen. I'm not sure yet if I like the toe being separate or not. Well, I can tell I haven't thrown off a mound at significant velocity in a long time. My command was horseshit. My mechanics felt terrible, but I feel healthy. We just need to actually be able to throw strikes. That's the first step. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then actually be able to throw hard. Uh, that's the second step. Next step is live VP for three innings. Today's Wednesday and I have live VP on Sunday. So sometime between now and then I need to figure out how to throw some damn strikes. Ah, uh, damn it. And after eight sprints, starting in the position in which I injured myself, uh, no problems with the hip, other than my conditioning being significantly worse than I remember it being when I got hurt. So we got to build that back up. But I think I'm completely healthy. I just got to get my mechanics back, throw some strikes, and build my conditioning up. Today's a big day in the recovery process. First time I'm facing hitters in four weeks. Three innings of live BP. Here's the rules. If they put the ball in play, they win. If I strike them out, I win. We'll see who comes out on top. Uh. Uh. One. Oh. Throw a first pitch strike. That's important. Uh. One nothing hitters. Ball in play is a win for them. First pitch curveball. Landed. Uh. Fastball down away. Uh. Okay, foul ball. Uh. You like that? Now we got the split down for the punchy. Uh. Oh no! I guess that's a win for them. Two oh hitters. With no defense, that ball barely made it out of the infield. Uh. Down. 0 for 3 on first pitch strikes. That's pathetic. Okay, we'll try the slider away. 3 nothing hitters, somehow. First pitch strike. Good swing, good swing. Okay, now we need the fastball in, though. 4 nothing hitters. Probably only one hit, though. Try a split. Five nothing hitters. Still only one hit though. Uh. Homer? Aha, Homer. That's a legitimate hit. Let's try cutter. We haven't thrown that one yet. Uh. What the f Get the ball in the zone. Uh. Okay, lay down the cutter, which means fastball in. Uh. Oh, curveball down in the, in the dirt. Uh. Ah. Another ground ball to the shortstop, but still no strikeouts. Six nothing hitters now, I think. Inning finished, okay. Okay, second inning. We're going uh, 20 to 25 pitches per inning, 10 minutes in between, three innings. I gotta get some strikeouts. So this one has to be in the zone, dead center. I'm gonna throw a split off of that, but it can't be a strike. Wasn't a strike, still a ground ball to the second, which means another point for the hitters. Oh, we're doing match play, by the way. Bottom half of the zone, has to be down. Oh my god. Oh one though, I'm ahead. Okay. This one's gonna be a fastball. Really did not like that pitch in there, which means we're going back in there. Okay, now we're gonna go split, but it has to be bouncing. Well, I got some other point. How the fuck did he hit that? 
Those are both outs, like in a real game, like easy outs. But today, two nothing hitters in the second inning, which means I got a lot of work cut out for me. Well hit ball, but probably not line drive center field. Yeah, lead curve ball. This one's gotta be in the zone. There we go. I like that spot. Follow that up with a fastball in. Ah, okay, so he chased fastball up and away. Uh, I guess that's in play. Easy fly out, but four nothing hitters. This is pathetic. Needed a strike though. Ah, I missed my spot. Good frame, looked like strike. Same pitch, but it has to be below the zone on the plate. There we go. First strikeout, 4-1 second inning. I don't know if I have enough pitches to get back in this. I'm gonna throw a split first pitch. That's a really good pitch and a ball. So we're gonna repeat it. He'll swing this one. That wasn't anywhere close. You would have swung, but I missed by three feet. Probably looking for a fastball, so we're throwing a split. Split in the dirt and then freeze fastball down the way if he doesn't swing. Good, make it look just like the split. Uh, he wins, that's a hit. At least I got one strikeout. Ground ball to first, but a point for the hitters. Down one nothing in the inning. Oh boy. Uh, that's not bottom half of the zone, but it is on the plate. Got halfway there. God damn it. Easy fly out to center, but nowhere close to where I wanted it. Good swing. 50 cent! God damn it. Okay, probably an out to left field. Pretty good job of hitting to bring his hands in, honestly. Pretty impressive. Fly out to center. Don't know why we're swinging at that first pitch, but... Oh my god, get the hand out one time. Didn't hit it hard enough. That almost killed me. What's my top velo for the day? 145, that's pretty pathetic. But we'll let a couple go here. Ah. 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 Ah, give me one more hitter. 147 still the top. Ah. How hard? Ah, uh, I suck, dude. He's worried about the comeback. You didn't hit it hard enough. Oh good, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good job, good job.